Hey guys, welcome back to the series of what comes to mind. Today we're on episode 6, looking at the word potential. And as you can see, I'm in my room. We all have a potential that far exceeds what our minds can imagine. What we lack is the belief that we have it and the desire to utilize it. This is a quote that hit me back in 2014 when I did a conference um, six years ago. And ever since, I've been trying to internalize, internalize this concept as much as I can, where I can. I wanted to share that with you. And it's that concept of how can you tap into a potential if you don't believe you have it in the first place? No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard somebody else believes in you, if you don't truly believe in yourself, how can you tap into a potential? Now, to give you an example of this, um, when I was doing my PhD a few years ago, um, for those of you who followed my content for a while, will know how difficult it was for a number of reasons. But towards the end, I was telling myself, and before that, I was telling myself, okay, if I finish, if I finish. But I actually shifted that mindset to tell me when I finish. So that completely changed the way I looked at my PhD. And I started to believe in myself. more. And by default, I started to tap into the resources I didn't know I actually had. So the abilities or improving the abilities I had or uncovering techniques that I did or how productive I became, everything became enhanced. So clearly I had the potential, but I just didn't know it. And then a few years later, I can look back and say, actually, clearly I had the potential to do a PhD because one, I just did it. And two, there was no drug, there was no magic formula, there was no online training course, there was no eureka moment. But clearly I had the potential to do so. And looking at other examples, for example, you see athletes, world champions, uh, business people, entrepreneurs, world leaders. For them to be where they are, they clearly they must have had the potential to do so. And many of them look inwardly, work hard, consistent. But it also starts with that belief. Sometimes they were told the opposite when they were young. And they used that as fuel to say, that, look, no, I believe I, I am capable. So I need to try. And it's those two things, belief and then application. But something else I wanted to add that I probably don't hear too much. We hear this notion of um, self-reflection, uh, self-actualization, self-awareness. It's also the concept, in my opinion, of refinement. The more you try, the more you believe, the more you refine yourself. So the things you know really well, you refine them. Those things you don't know, you refine the ability to improve them or to minimize yourself in those situations. You know, so it's also those two things. So in my opinion, two things I want to talk about, or I want to hear your opinion more so actually, is one, what do you think of when you hear the word potential? And two, when you realize you're not good at something, do you uh, minimize yourself in those situations? Or do you actually try and refine yourself so it's up to a standard where you can utilize? You know? So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Sorry, I am actually not outside, but it is very windy, so I thought I didn't want to um, stop the series or, you know, wait until Monday. I genuinely wanted to do a 30-day challenge uh, for myself, but I hope you benefited from this video as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So seeing as in my room, I thought let me just show you the whiteboard. You might have seen a picture a while ago, but why not show you in action? So you can see the light is not on. I press this, like, magic button. It's like a really, really magic button. Pretty cool, right? Let me know your thoughts about that too in the comment section below. See you soon. And so soon, I'm actually going to see you tomorrow.